So there's another project that I wanted to point out, and this is a project that I was hoping would be a little bit more uh, useful. I, I like to like shout out tools I think are gonna be useful or cool or interesting. And this one I thought would be really cool. But as of right now, I haven't been able to get it working all the way, but I still wanted to shout it out in case anybody else is able to. It's got versions already pre-compiled and uh, I thought that that would make it easier to flash. It, it wasn't. Uh, I haven't gotten any serial output out of this. I'm not exactly sure if I'm doing anything wrong, but this project seems very cool. So let's say that you have a, a cat, as, as I do, and that cat is going out into places that are increasingly far away, and I want to make sure that if the cat doesn't come back, I can fly around and figure out where the cat is. And I want to use something I already have. So I have a bunch of AirTags. AirTag collars are like a couple of dollars. What if I put an AirTag on the cat and then I use something like an ESP32 to fly around and detect that, that air tag and figure out where the cat is. Now, this would not be useful in a city where there's tons and tons of air tags because air tags change their identifier every 15 minutes. They do this uh, in an encrypted way that you can't really uh, like relate back to anything unless you connect back to Apple servers, which hold all the keys. So that means if this was in a densely crowded area that has lots of air tags, this would not be a useful way of tracking a cat. But let's say your cat is off in a, a field or a, or a wooded area where there's going to be no air tags. Well, then this actually could be pretty useful. So my intention here was using this uh, project, which detects air tags using the ESP32. Uh, you can see it supports the supposedly supports the ESP32 S3, and uh, then combine this with our LoRa boards. So over here, not on my screen, I have an example of how we built these LoRa backpacks, and these. Nuggets have an ESP32 S3, which is capable of scanning for Bluetooth. And then the backpack has a LoRa chip on it that is uh, enabling it to communicate over multiple miles if necessary uh, to send back information about what it's found from Bluetooth. So in theory, you could strap this underneath the drone, you could fly it around where your pet might be, and it would send you messages over LoRa telling you the Bluetooth signal strength if it does in fact detect a uh, air tag while it flies. That means you would get live information, kind of like a, a hot spot, a hot and cold kind of like search method where you're able to actually identify what area uh, your pet might be in and then kind of zero in on it as well. So I thought this would be a really cool and kind of a human way of applying this technology for something that is pretty common nowadays. So air tag collars are something that are pretty useful, but if it's in a giant field, unless I want to fly around with a iPhone strapped underneath the drone, which by the way is the actual best way of doing this, if you have a drone that can support the weight, uh, it's very difficult to then use like an air tag unless you're walking around with an iPhone and kind of searching manually. So to speed that up, I thought I would give this a try. I spent a couple hours troubleshooting it this week and I wasn't able to get it fully working, but I'm hoping that by next week, I'll be able to figure out what's going on and give an example of tracking down a pet from the air using an air tag scanner.